Welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with. And yeah, Drakir is missing in action, even though he was the one who booped me about, oh, are we having streams soon or not? So, uh, yeah, going to send them a boop back. For... Uh, and, yeah. I'm gunnery <laughs> and I'm gunnery mate Rom, just killing. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, welcome to Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Which has been named as the best adventure game ever by certain places and people. And I guess we'll hey. find out. And there they are. <laughs> sort of a uh, slight delay. Just <laughs> last minute uh, bathroom and grab uh, my food and all. <laughs> okay, welcome to the cure. Uh, yeah, <laughs> welcome. <clears throat> Uh, like I just said, uh, welcome to Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, supposedly one of, if not the best adventure game ever. And yeah, we find Dr. Jones, wherever the hell this is. Okay. Hello with me, here's a mud lieutenant here, and uh, where the hell are you from? <laughs> yep, hey. <laughs> okay, for clarification, I have a guide on the side. Rhyme. <laughs> uh, but I'll avoid using it wherever possible. What I do know about this game is that there are three parts you can take, so replay value there. One is a team uh, path, called the team path, the, the fighting path, or fist path, and the wits path, path which will have mostly uh, puzzles, and well, I can get, you can guess what the fist path is going to be focused on. Team path, I'm guessing, is going to be in between with that. But we'll have to see. For now, let's look at things. And yeah, this time we won't have to do the voice acting for the game because it has it itself. It's a stone carving of Shiva. Let's see. Did you hear? Hold on. Some kind of funeral art. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. Okay. I did test the game earlier, not today, but before, but I know that if we interact with this statue, well, there's a very obvious trap door there, so let's keep looking for a bit more. <laughs> it's a medieval gargoyle, or a good imitation. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. Okay, so it, it is all junk. Hmm? Wait. That, that's Horus? It was supposed to be. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. Are, are we raiding Marcus's uh, garage or attic or something? Okay, I'm not seeing anything else to interact with. L. Eakin, James Alexander Dollar, <laughs> Mike Ebert, <laughs> April Harrison. Yeah, this game released three years after the Lost Crusade uh, graphic game, and yeah, it's already quite clear in the graphics, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The label says unidentified pot shirts. Uh, apparently, shirts is a term actually used for shards for for some reason. I I don't see the I don't really see the use in uh, swapping out a single letter like that. But okay. 
Just thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. <laughs> okay, we're really just like raiding his attic. Shaman collection. Okay. A rope, a gaping hole, and not much more. Yep. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. I see we are <laughs> absolutely not done with the comedy aspect. <laughs> but and if you think about it, there is plenty of comedy in the Indiana Jones movies. Yeah, and we are we weren't raiding Marcus's attic. We were we're raiding the university's attic. <sighs> Why the hell did you break in through the window in the first place, Jones? <laughs> That's what you did! Yeah, you missed that bit. Let's see, books and parts. Oh. Them, they're just textbooks. Let's see. Oh, why there were some big snake statues in there. It's an old lecture hall desk. Okay, books and weapons. Or of importance here. Big sites. Nothing of importance here. Statues. But these books don't look familiar. Uh oh. Yep. Uh. <laughs> Jones. Uh, have have Jones. you been drinking, Doctor Jones? <laughs> because this. No. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you the spirit on being brewing on me? Perhaps. Maybe. Better get that roof checked. Well, I'm the cat. <laughs> okay, nothing of interest there. A bunch of cat figurines. Are these supposed to be fast? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was a good one. Doug Lee as Indy. That's not the me, but I Well, I guess it is. He's angry cat now. <laughs> uh, uh, he, he, <laughs> I accidentally call it again. Uh, Technically, it's supposed to be bad luck when a black cat crosses your path, but this time it was Indy crossing the black cat. <laughs> it's hot. Okay, why do we get the feeling that we're going to get jump scares if we look in any of these lockers? It's a greasy old towel. Nope. Nope. And... Be. Here's what I've been searching for. A lighter, a horn statue. Okay. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scum Story System by Ron Gilbert. Uh, that one. Muse Music System by Michael Z. Land and Peter McConnell. Lead Testing by Wayne Klein, Klein and Chip Something. Hmm. Okay, that, that was probably a detail they could have even left out by moving the moving the things lower a bit, but you could I like that they actually have a tiny animation for opening the door. I'm back. Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. Jones. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Tell me. Did you find a lock to match my key? <laughs> you bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. Okay. My word, India, a small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Ready, Mr. Smith. Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car with you. You'll need one. Hmm. What is this? 
A very obvious <laughs> German pretender. Get back here, you motherfucker. He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Is the meat in this? there? Klaus Kerner, huh? <laughs> of course. Some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What does the spy want with the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. <laughs> yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the hmm. one? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. But where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. Okay, he just looks weird no in a suit. The coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. <laughs> And off we go. <laughs> well, uh, it's you can't say it's a boring start. <laughs> okay, and now we get control. All right. <laughs> Madame Sophia Let's... tonight. Oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we know where she is. But yeah, do you remember Sophia and Rakir? I was wondering, is that the damn same Sophia from the 3D games we played of the uh, Indian News? Yep. Inferno Machine, Sophia Hapgood. I bloody hell. I probably would have remembered her in those if it was of a massive gap between me watching this game and uh, streaming that game. And I think I knew actually when I watched this game. It was just. I actually had just. I was to say hello to you. <laughs> okay, so. Some. Yeah, more than three years ago. Yeah, okay, we'll see how much you remember then. But yeah. I, only, I, I remember, probably, what I remember is sadly mostly at the end. Okay. But hopefully more we pop up. Let's see, but in a way we're kind of doing this like the Star Wars uh, sex tablet, sex tablet? The, the, the first uh, six uh, Star Wars movies, like four, five, six, one through three, we did. Well, in for the machine, Empress Tomb, and now we're back going back for the original tomb. The first two. <laughs> Let's see. Is that the hexology or something? Uh, hexes eight. Um, let's see. Uh, let's have a look. Imagine the suckers who actually pay to see Sophia's Lost World lectures. Oh, you're a sucker looking for her now, Indy. Okay, looks like we can't shortcut these. It's today's paper. Okay. Uh, phone booth. Let's just look at everything and see what Indy has to say. I don't see anything special about it. Hmm? Okay. It's a taxi. Okay. Visitors, Rom? She's counting yeah. up the receipts. Still here. Okay. Welcome back. Uh, let's see. Use ticket taker? Nope. Let's see. We don't have a talk option. Hello there. Uh, ah, there we go. Red click. Oh. But no seats, no standing room, no exception. Okay, so. <laughs> Sophia is popular. Okay, guess that means we'll have to sneak our way in. 
it's it can't be that easy. I don't see anything special about it. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Okay. Oh, there's a crate here. Or one we can interact. And can we just see one crate? Um, it's a lot. Yeah, a lot there's crates. a lot. <laughs> okay, there's probably something we want in there. And hello, fire escape. Okay, can we get over there? Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's see. Can we push the crates? Yes, we can. Okay. Oh, the way looks blocked. Yeah, how is it? Okay, there's another crates. Can we push that one? Yes, we can. The way looks blocked. Oh. I can't reach it. Uh. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Okay, so are there multiple crates here in the way? I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't uh, reach it. Oh, I see. Yeah, it was blocking this path now. The way looks blocked. Okay, uh, then we push this crate. Okay. There we go. Simple, well, push crate puzzle in a different way. Hey! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. Biff? We know a Biff from the previous game. What are the odds that they're the same? Uh, I'm surprised. <laughs> uh, let's see. I want a reading with Miss Hapgood. Are you crazy? During the show? Write her a letter. Okay, I guess we're going to have to interrupt the show. Let's see, we've got three levers here. Some some sort of Viking ghost on a pulley system. Wait! Hmm? Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friend, yep. is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous. Socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Okay. Well, I, th I think charisma. Yeah, she knows how to make a presentation at least. And I, I think I... <laughs> I think I actually saw something from the Flat Earth idiots or something that seems to have been stolen from uh, from uh, the uh, three circular Atlantis uh, areas or something. Because <laughs> apparently they're expanding that fanfic as all. <laughs> I'm not deign to call it anything more than what just fanfic? fix uh, Flat Earth stupidity and such. Oh, okay, yeah, fair. No, actually, wait, wait, wait. at least there's good she fan just fiction. Coming to the exciting part. Mm. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher, or the Earth itself suddenly shifting? <laughs> However, it happened. Panic must have gripped the citizens on that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or perhaps it was a volcanic eruption and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. Okay, is there more to see? Uh, let's see. Still Let... beautiful, still impossible. <laughs> it sounds like every date you've ever had, Jones. Okay. Hold Make... on. How many dates she has? 
<laughs> I mean, he once went to a bar and somehow wound up getting poisoned. True. <laughs> With Jones, it's like every other week someone tries to kill him. Can we Hold even... Hold on! She's still talking. Okay, so we're done seeing what she has to show. That's, that's the exit. I still have a... Did I have a, a new candidate for possible? Like, I do occasionally watch about uh, things about Atlantis. I don't make... How is it is? I don't blindly believe it exists, but I'm open to the idea of it. Yeah. If that makes sense. I mean, I'm willing to entertain the idea that places like Atlantis exist just because the world has shown that it has no concept of following a linear and logical structure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, and... it's... It's happened plenty of times where humanity basically went, we we know all there is to know and such, there's no need to keep looking and such, and then, well, the new fucking continent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and a good example. Go in there. Do you know what was a myth? And what did they do? Uh, they founded Troy. Yeah, and apparently it was a whole layered cake of Troy's. Yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, I want to say, one of the new candidates for Atlantis is the something called the Eye of Sahara. This is a thing in Sahara that is actually laid in circles. So people suspect that maybe that one is at least maybe inspired the myth of Atlantis. Could be. Or it is Atlantis. And th there are plenty of mythological creatures as well that people have figured out uh, that some sort of animal that may have strayed outside of its typical uh, living areas and ended up somewhere, ended up interacting with people, and that that could have led to uh, certain mythological creatures and such. I'm, for, I'm, blank, I'm blanking on uh, any specifics at the moment. Uh, but let's just say that some animal, if if you catch some animals at certain times, they look really freaking freaky. And well, edu the common uh, education of the time wasn't that uh, good, so it's easy to see how some farmer could confuse, uh, yeah, one thing for another. Yeah, and then we also have the whole uh, telephone issue. Like, a school writes about an animal and then leads them to. A traveler, who heard from a traveler, who heard from another traveler. Yeah. This is an example, the Catopeltas. A armored beast that can only look down, but when it looks up, it will turn people to stone. It's normally harmless for this herbivore. And people realized after long investigation that the Catopeltas is a... is the wildebeest. <laughs> Makes sense, yeah. Hold on! She's still talking. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Uh, let's see. Madam told me to tell you were fired. Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? You look tired. Wouldn't you like to call it a day? Nah, sooner or later I get to run the ghost out there. That's always a big moment. Uh, okay. Uh, wait. Hold on. She's still talking. Hmm. Him, look at the ghost and remember how the uh, some some yeah. dude she spoke looked her great her great spirits who also had a winged helmet. Yeah, let's see. Can we give this to you? Here. No thanks. I read it years ago. I still got my own copy. Right. So didn't you know who Jones is then? Then again, it was his first job, so he might look like shit now. <laughs> And again, from what we saw, he didn't look too much this different. Taken a long while yeah. Ago, when I thought we might no. like each other. Uh, he'll, I think you look at the picture. What he's wearing? Yeah, his adventuring gear. Yeah, uh, hmm. and I, I have a feeling most people will not recognize Jones in his uh, regular attire when working in his uh, regular job. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So now we have an easy way in and out. Hmm. So we can't interact with. Oh. Wait. Yeah. She's still talking. Okay, so he'll just stop us from getting anywhere close Wait. here. Yep. She's still talking. Hmm. We 
We can't walk hey. out either. She's still talking. You just love hearing her chat, don't you? Hmm. I think we need something to get him away, I think. Yeah. And and this way, eh? I wonder what I change a good charisma on her if she may believe she's talking about. Okay. He uh, doesn't have any money to, to but make calls. Her, 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 a prop ghost made me a bit unsure about her. It's today's paper. Yeah, it seems that right click will make us uh, will do the. Uh... She always wanted her name in lights. <laughs> Looks like right click will just activate the most uh, useful of these options on whatever we want. Um. That's kind of nice, actually. Hmm. Okay, I... I don't see what we can do here, because it doesn't seem like we can collect anything here. Uh, let's see... Let me take a peek at the guide. Hmm. Always hmm. dress up wrong as that uh, great spirit and send him out to scare everyone. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, apparently you can all apparently there are three ways to get in here already. Or what let's see. Yeah, apparently if we kept knowing the door here enough, the bouncer would actually come out and we could either fight him to get in, sweet talk him to get in, or the way we went was the wits path. So I I'm guessing slash hoping we don't lock ourselves in one path through that one action. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Stop you after a few tries. Stop. Let me get rid of the stage hand. Okay. It's uh, paper. Let's see. Okay, we can just take it. It is it is the evening, so it makes sense that they're closed. And well, tomorrow's newspaper won't. Uh, today's newspaper won't have any use tomorrow. Uh, we can't keep talking to him. Excuse me. Yeah. What now? Let's see. Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life. Don't you ever read? Sure, it's a hobby of mine. But what if I give you something to read? I might take a look. <laughs> okay, that's how we need to. How we know to give him this? Here. Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? <laughs> okay, and he just takes off. <laughs> now, uh, let's see. What do it's any of these do? Let's see. Uh, oh, no. no. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Okay, I'm guessing we need to just hit one of these and then the button. Hmm, nothing happened. Okay. Uh, can we move this one? Oh. Did you just oh. summon a ghost? No, it was already there. And if we do this... There it goes. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through... <laughs> May I present Neuraxal, <laughs> the great Atlantean god of... of... Deceit. Deceit. Thank you. <laughs> Indiana Jones, you've got some nerve. Wait, why the fuck does this guy look like Harrison Ford? The guy in the background. Oh, right. Great. Good night, folks. <laughs> and he manages to man his operation. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. I'd say it's about time. <laughs> All the people there are just like, uh... Oh, no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. <laughs> no one here. Nor here either. 
I think that would have been a quicker place to check in, D. Ooh. <laughs> he just rises out of the ground like he's in an elevator. Doctor Oberman, fantastic news. We found the treasure we seek. Okay. The subtitles didn't fit there. D Doctor Uberman. Also, he look he looks a lot shorter as he goes there. That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? German wizard. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announces plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? And it's practical oh. results are years away. A few atoms won't even light a match. That's not the point, Jones. You never find enough uranium. Practical <laughs> results are years away. Of course they are. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Uh, you've been concealing important artifacts. You stole things from my expedition. Dealing goods on the... Uh, never published a word about your finds. Yet you never published a word about your finds. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Huh. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. Oh, she has her own adventure gear. a few pieces for myself. Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. Another bead? What do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was just her shaking. Yeah, that was the Did entire room. <laughs> yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Okay. Close in Atlanta. Atlantis, that's for sure. Hmm. Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. Let's see. We have no idea where to find your mystical lost city. Atlantis has been underwater for centuries. Who knows where these beads really came from? You may have just used the last bead. We have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Shh. I'm getting something. Narab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? A, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine man. Let's see. Legendary hoax. If Plato wrote it, later authors would have reported it. I think Plato just wanted to tell a tall tale. Not in any library I've ever been in. It's not in any library I've ever been in. Hmm. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. Yeah, they knew about all of this somehow. Let's see. You found this stuff in Iceland, right? What were these pieces doing in Iceland, I wonder? How did the Nazis get interested in Iceland? <laughs> Why not Florida? It's warm. <laughs> these pieces doing in Iceland, I wonder. Survivors must have sailed there after the great catastrophe. Any port in a storm, huh? Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? <laughs> Heimdall, really? I never ask. Bjorn mm. Heimdall. Okay, I begin on credit, but it looks more unique in this category. What it means. Oddly for once, compared to what they usually go with. <laughs> yeah, but now we have our whip. Because now we have our actual adventure gear. Captain, Captain, please be careful with the whip. You only have one eye remaining. Let's have a look. We have the truck, we have the encampment. 
a bunch of stuff here that we can't interact with, and the dig site. Let's check here first, before we head into, well, unstable ground. Hmm. It looks like someone's still living here. Okay. Listen. Yes? Let's see. Remember this place? The Jastro Expedition. How could I forget? Cold enough for you? Even colder than my feelings towards you, Jones. <laughs> okay, that's an ice burn. <laughs> Let's look around. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's head in here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I gotta say, I like Sophia. Back a lot of memories of the Jastro expedition. <laughs> oh, hello there. Hello. Doctor Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my big site now. Go away. <laughs> okay. I thought you were digging up Norse Mama graves in Denmark. Yeah. I was, but yeah. obviously now I'm not. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks call Iceland, you know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog shrouded land and how they never set foot upon it. <laughs> After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they've ever tailed by ghosts. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, John? Okay, what are you supposed to be? French? British? Uh, uh might be <laughs> Scandinavian, at least. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I, don't I don't think I've ever heard anyone from Scandinavia ever use the term poppycock. Hmm. Let's see. Lot any time on their itinerary. No, no, no. They were stopped by a first field put here by beings not of this earth. Oh, <laughs> this guy's going for aliens, That's eh? Fascinating, Doctor. Let's see. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow, who claims he translated the whole thing. And Salif Costa in the Azores Islands. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp tracer. Okay, so both of our possible contacts for this are shady. I, I, had hmm. to, I think I recognize the accent. I think it I is supposed to be some sort of Scandinavian accent, yeah, but it seems like it's mixed in with something else. Uh, it's more like, it sounds like the accent the uh, Americans think Swedes and Norwegians speak when they speak English. <laughs> yeah, that's... Is, it, <laughs> is it people can hear? <laughs> um... Yeah. And uh, I also would say this to uh, uh, additional visual. If people think that we can even sound like uh, those from Family Guy, no. You have some accent, like, accents and we get close to it. But those are very few. Now I'm actually being reminded of uh, the first Pokemon movie when Team Rocket pretended to be Vikings from Minnesota. <laughs> Like what? <laughs> they, they were putting up the same accents, don't you know? That sort. I, I, I saw I saw the Pokemon in Swedish, and they say, I remember Brock mentioned the Lost Vikings lives in Norway. <laughs> Which made me confused. What? Wait, is this set on Earth? <laughs> Why did these beings show up here? I am convinced that these travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a state part. Up north here, we're close to the ether. It's a perfect landing site. Ether? Okay. So what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? 
supply the Yastro expedition they're already about to work on. Recently, I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Somebody must have been selling them. Go ahead, blame it all on me. Okay, I can, I can definitely see why Jones is not happy with her, because, well, he is literally the it belongs in a museum guy. Yeah, but the question is, did she or did she not? Where did you say those pieces come from? It's this artifact of Atlantis, you ran. Dr. Sternhardt and Costa. So you completely discount the supernatural? Completely. If it's supernatural, you ran. Dr. Sternhardt and Costa. Wait, what? <laughs> uh... Well, yeah, so right. he's, he, he's he, a sci-fi guy, not a fantasy guy, even though his theory is as far-fetched as Sophia's. Yeah, I just realized, yeah, he's more of a... Within his size and not less supernatural, yeah. Yeah, Again, ancient what aliens. Do, what I do really want to like this stuff is that I usually more, very more skeptical when we go into... when we enter... the more... Uh, yeah. Ancient alien stuff. There's two, but more of the when they get involved, uh, more psychics and people claim to have uh, seen ghosts of Atlantis out there. That's when I, yeah, especially make up a very strange history. Yeah. They claim they heard from that. Yeah, let's go. Nope. Just, just another bad sci-fi writer like the founder of Scientology. <laughs> Only they're yeah, not cr charismatic I, enough to get a, a foothold. Didn't the guy who makes Scientology do it on a bed with the guy who made, who wrote Starship Troopers? Can't say well, that, I, but I do know that he was a failed sci-fi writer before. Yeah. And if you read anything about that Scientology stuff and such, and what has come out it, from their quote-unquote it, secrets, it's all it's all shitty Scientology. It's all shitty sci-fi. Be uh, careful about mentioning that. <laughs> For uh, they apparently will go off the people. Yeah, uh, they can suck my ass. What is this thing you're working on? Run for here. Oh, it's probably a home in Beacon Parway or Okay, so he has a, something in the wall there. <laughs> I don't, that's your only. Remind me of something. They are banned in Germany. Hey. What? It's an eel figurine trapped in ice. Yeah, uh, Brom has guests. Oh, yeah. all right. Let's see. I was wondering what he said hey for. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do here. I doubt the whip can be used to get that thing out. Uh, let's see. Can we use... Can we go to other places What's now already? Okay, we can. Wait. Okay, we can choose where to go. Hmm? Uh, Wait, where, where were, the, were the other two in the, on the same uh, island with him? No. Tikal and the Azores. I, I'm pretty sure this... I don't, I, I don't think there's any major islands between Europe and America. Hmm. Beside... The, yeah, yeah, that's, there are some Besides islands there, but... Here. There are a few islands in that area, but not many, but people have theorized that those islands that has been around those areas may have been Atlantis, but not much have been proven about it so far. Okay. Uh, anything we can do in New York? I very much doubt it, but we can might as well take a look. Oh, we go back to the university. Okay. Hmm. What are we doing here? <laughs> what a campus you could have been teaching here was actually the same thing. What a campus, and you could have been teaching here. 
Sure, teaching people with minds like razors, sharp and narrow. Yeah, come on. Okay. Let's look around. You go, uh, okay. I'll wait. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to do much here, so let's head to... Almost throw my phone off its standards there. Uh, um, I got lunch and I got a bunch of people here. I'll see you guys later. Okay. All right. See you next time, Rom. Is it Rom? And eat yeah. well. You guys have a good time too. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> 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 bar or something? Hey, Bob. He looks like a jungle rodent. Yeah, okay, that's a big rodent. Jones. Let's see. Yep. Parrots? Yep, and it, Okay, I thought that was a vine, but no, it's a giant frick off it's anaconda. Snake. I hate snakes. Okay. That's my whip. Okay. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. Okay, now they only ticked it off, it seems. Uh, and what the heck do you expect to happen? On, you weapon them like an anaconda! <laughs> okay, so there's nothing we can do here because, well, snack. <laughs> Let's. Act. Wait, can we. You? Uh, go. Okay, so these go to different places. Can we get the capybara to head towards the snake? Hmm. Okay, passing through. Let's see. Is this going to run away, probably? Yep. Hmm. Oop. That's the correct path, if we can get him to go in there. Who should they rule? Like, the, their order. Nope. Shill. Concernly shill at times. Like, they have a. Uh, there has been. Actually, a video by. Kalbar decided to just sleep on top of a damn crocodile. <laughs> their heights are pretty damn tough from what I've heard. Let's see. It's... I very much doubt it's this. Critter's too far away. Okay, so we can we can use the whip on it. It could be useful in the right spot. Okay, more to scare it off. Okay, so we need to get it in front of this hole and then chase it through. Okay, then the anaconda will probably be busy with it instead of us. Okay. Hmm. Just need to get it in front of the right path. Come on. There we go. It could be oh, damn. In the right spot. Got too close. It looks like it just heads for a random one. Okay. No, not too close. There we go. Yep. Well, that works. Good old Mother Nature. <laughs> okay, good chance that it'll survive that because, like I said, those things have thick hides. And thick hide is very good with well, it, anacondas aren't venomous, but they they do crush. Yeah, I don't think that'll work. Really? I don't. I, I was feeling the animators they don't know move. how anacondas move, but it would yeah. not be able to do that. <laughs> I don't think that'll and work. I, hmm. I don't think anacondas like being trees either. I can't talk to that bird from here. And, Prefer to be well on the ground and by water. I can't move it. Okay, that solves one step, but we need an axe or a saw or something to actually get across. Wait, wait. Hmm. 
I already tried that twice. Listen. Yes. Let's see. How do you like the tropics? You're the one who's afraid of snakes. Great. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the end of the road. There's got to be a way through. But what do we do now? We probably should find Sternheart. But I'm not setting foot in that malaria infested hole. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, now, now I actually wish that uh, we, that Sophia had been more active in Infrodo Machine, because it would have been hilarious to hear these two go back and forth constantly. Okay. Uh, only path that seems open at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, and this one is the trader, I believe. The other one is more shady, but uh, even more shady. This is it. Let's see. Listen. Yes. Are you sure this is Costa's house? Pretty sure, but I've never actually met him. Hmm. Why don't you talk to him? My pleasure. Oh, oh, okay. We can actually switch between them. Mr. Costa, this better be important. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Just watch. Well, hello, beautiful. <laughs> Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia, a renowned psychic. Makes of, makes of course sense that the the old man is a lot more you know, a lot more wanting uh, willing to uh, talk to a beautiful lady than a uh, Jones's uh, mug. We need your help. At your service. Let's see. What can you tell us about Plato's lost dialogue? What do you want to know? Let's... Do you know what's in it? Nope. Okay. The, the other one said that he had translated it or claimed he had. Do you have it? Nope. Okay. Have you read it? Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Hmm. Do you know where we could find it? Well, now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Hmm. Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Don't be a stranger now. What a charming old man. Trade, huh? If not your necklace, then what, I wonder? I think I know where we could find something to trade, seeing as, uh... <clears throat> I think uh, our German friends didn't actually take the statuettes that the bead came out of. Hmm. You still have it? It's probably still at the university. Let's get out of here. Okay, I, I didn't know that we could switch between characters, but that would make sense on the, the team path. Let's go take a look. And maybe at some point uh, during all these hours of travel, uh, Bjorn may have finally freed the statuette. Or maybe it's... oh, it might actually be that we can get that to trade. But we need to get it off the ice first. Yeah, but let's see if the figurine is in his ill. Hmm. Let's see. We, nobody's fixed a window yet. I better call a glazier. <laughs> wait, that. Wait, what? That, that's what they're called? A thuggy idol. Apparently, a thuggy that's from uh, <laughs> Temple of Doom. Uh, let's see. 
Anything here? Nothing up here but a few broken pots. Hmm. Nope. Oh, a trunk. Hmm. I just realized the background is matching with. Oh, blood. Hey, this is confusing to see. <laughs> but move the wood away. Is this game broken? Nope. Nothing useful in here. Yeah, come on. Nothing in there. Okay, let's head out. <laughs> So we can stop Kier's double vision. If not that, Jones. Okay, can we head over here? Or is it just there? Okay, looks like we actually can get here. I get it. It's just one frame, but it's still nice that they put that there. Nothing there. Anything here? Let's see. It says... For sale, 1937 Ford Coupe, like new, 300 bucks. Okay, stairs. The stairway is closed for repairs. Okay, we can head down though. It's a greasy old towel. Then we are. Okay. Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, can we get some coal as well? Because this is an adventure game, so you don't you, you don't have no idea what random junk might be useful sooner or later. Hmm. Actually, I'm noticing this thermometer or something in there. Can we put the can you put the coal in here? Not that I think it'll do anything. It's hot enough already. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing it's mostly there to avoid overheating and such. Okay, but well, we got two items out of this. Okay, let's talk to Sophia. Yeah, jo Jones just has just no luck at all with any of his uh, love interests, huh? Well, he let's look around. Actually, you are kind of incorrect. No, he has had more luck with some, but... Apparently, at least one to have a kid. Two kids? It might be more, but there is... In Temple of... Um, on the Crystal Skull, he did get married. Okay. You haven't seen that movie, have you? I have. You it's... forgot that, haven't you? Hmm... <laughs> Actually, no. yeah, they they have they were married, but possibly married. probably also, also divorced or something. Uh, yeah, mm. but they, they I, I don't I don't remember the ending. They remarried uh, probably them. Could be. And that's yeah, also he got to know the certain someone was his son. Yeah. <laughs> Which people still don't like. I'm a bit more 50-50 on that, but uh, a bit less on trying to pass on the torch. Uh, but there's also that newest movie. I haven't seen it. I haven't heard too good about it. Uh, was it The Dial of Destiny? Yeah. Or... I mean, what from time? Probably with you or with my father or something, but I'm not holding high hopes. There's also a new game coming uh, coming out, The Great Circle or something, which looks more promising. But yeah, that's the whole thing about trailers; they're supposed to look promising. Listen. What's on your mind? Let's see. <laughs> I think the good doctor's got frostbite of the brain. I'll say, spaceman, my eye. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Says the psychic. <laughs> Spaceman, my eye. What? I, I'm <laughs> not familiar with that phrase. Yeah, it, it is. It's the freaking 30s, of course. There's all the stuff, but it's basically like uh, something, something, my ass. Yeah. So it, it, it is an equivalent to that, then. Yeah. That'll just make a mess. Hmm. It's an eel figurine trapped in ice. Hmm. Anything Hello. new we can get out of you? You again. Must you badger me? Badger me. 
Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Let me look at the guide here again what? for any tips. Hold on, is that a skull? Uh, where? Uh, go to the left. Oh, wait, wait, right, right, right. Oh, uh, here? That... Yeah. It has a bit of a res resemblance, yeah? Like, if you think of this here as the teeth, an eye hole yeah, I, there. And like, I don't know if that is that an accident, accidentally made a skull, or if that's supposed to be an Easter egg. Hmm. Now, let me look at the guide. Uh, Iceland, find Heimdall, ta -da -da -da. The pickaxe trying to dislodge an eel figure, ask him about the dialogue. Okay, then two people into call and the Azores. Okay. And that's all we can get out of him at the moment. Looks like we will need to come back here eventually. Uh, let's see. Guide advice is to go to the... the book test. Yeah, but we can't interact with any of this. That's, that's an oil lantern. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah it, 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 it is, it is. Let's head for the airport. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, really, game? Okay. Apparently, we can get, we can make use of the tree, rather literally. So let's just head on over. We can't speed up through any of this, but I will. Okay, head there. Uh oh. Yes, yes, Polly. It looks pretty mm. flexible. Yep. <laughs> they said a fight. Some bridge. Hi, Indy. Uh, what? How? Oh. <laughs> How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. They could have called. Uh, is that was that supposed to be a rubber tree or something? What do we do now? Maybe <laughs> we better find Sternhard. Okay, apparently we can. I'm guessing whenever we ask her what do we do now, she'll give us a hint as to what to go for. Uh, let's see. Just a minute. Oop. That's my shop. Hello there. Are you who are are you Sternhard? Can I help you with something? Postcard. Replicas of the temple, souvenir marks. Okay. But no thanks, Mister. Mm. Uh, damn, then that was me actually pushing. Independent uh, thinker, researcher, and merchant. Yeah, that was me actually <laughs> pushing my phone off its standard here, which is right next to my like... mouse. And my ears <laughs> did not like that for some reason. Okay, I might need to cut that out. Uh, let me see. Paper and at about one minute six. Yeah, if I, I don't know if it was, if it was being loud or I just got so jump scared by it. <laughs> It'll make it twice in this game so far. Okay, this guy is supposed to be more cred yeah, credible than the other. You, know, you can cut that out. <laughs> well, what can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Oh? Oh no! What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the lost dialogue. <laughs> okay, so... Dead end again here. What can you tell us about the temple? Glad you asked. The locals play Mayan Indian building. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages, or does it seem much too civilized? <laughs> or maybe you're too, you're too British to realize those savages were a lot more civilized than you think. I would say more old school scientistic. Hmm. Uh. Take a look inside. How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. 
No, that that actually like... reminds me of a joke I made a while back, but I kind of forgot it. Oh, so um, this, they, they can, this process seems to be... were already being phased out during this uh, era. Let me see. Uh, I think at least. Let me see if I can find that joke again. I think this is the server, so I'll just need to look for that. And let's see. From... Of course, it doesn't want to work with that. It's from... Okay. Is it? Is it just me or does with Discord it seem like some of its search commands just don't work at times? Like on some uh, servers, it seems like the from command doesn't actually work. Okay, let me just narrow this down. Uh, oh yeah, here it is. Uh, ta -da -da -da, watching a bit on scratches. <clears throat> okay. Uh, narrator calls the previous owner of the house a weeaboo for all things African, which gave me a thought if there was a word for that. Then my next thought practically automatically was Imperial British. Okay, I'm continuing. Dr. Indiana Jones, is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. <laughs> Actually, it was the name of a dog. <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> uh, just continuing to dog on that. Or dog pile on them <laughs> with that. Uh... I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy. You're surrounded by it. Proof? Now that's hard. Hmm. I think I actually like this guy a bit better because he actually wants proof. <laughs> Other than just point at, points at thing and says Atlantis. Uh, let's see. Thanks. We'd just like to look around. <laughs> As you wish. Don't forget about my investment grade curios. Okay, so I, I guess the I guess how this guy is questionable is because he likes to both sell shit as well. Okay. There, there, there. No thanks, I don't want it. Uh, really? That that we can use this to prove I don't think that'll work. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, that, that's the most basic way we could prove that we are actual scholars. Uh, let's see, do we need to mm -hmm. Yes? What do we do mm. now? We could talk to Sternard again, or we could move on. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> How can we convince him then? Yes. I feel like we should be able to show him the book. Yeah, but give is as close as possible, and we can't use it, so... so... Does that mean we came to the wrong place? I've pretty much lost hope myself, but old legends and rumors die hard. Hmm. What kind of rumors? Local legend has it that the temple was built by men who are not men. So women? <laughs> okay, that, that, that's just... <laughs> yeah, that was low fruit. But they basically the same thing with the uh, Lord of the Rings Witch King, like no man can slay me. <laughs> What are men who are not men? Who knows? I've heard everything from giant men with snakes for tails to giant snakes with men for heads. Okay. You actually believe what? Atlanteans lived here? After the city sank, this is where they came, I'm sure. Hmm. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Uh, Glutus Maximus Persepolis. Is that it? The Pleiades. Pleiades! Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer. Wait. Hmm. All the parrots. Let's see. I remember, I really remember the parrot is his <laughs> clue. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Let's see. Pleiades? Pleiades! A 
cluster of young stars. They're a very smart parrots. Uh, 23, what? 23 skidoo. A pile of poo. <laughs> okay, that I must be a reference. reference. Yeah, that's a reference. Echo. Echo. <laughs> hmm. Okay, for moment it said walk to... Uh, Stop! I'm begging your pardon, you can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. Okay, that's a better reason than I won't let you go in. Okay, that's why it said walk to Sternheart, because he's supposed to stand here. Hmm. Excuse me. Yes? I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Tetrahedra, Hippocrates. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing it's supposed to be this one. Persepolis. Persepolis. Too bad, old bloke. But that's not the answer. Hmm. And he just walks off again. Okay. Yeah, but you see, there hmm. were two or one new word there. I think I saw the parrot also have. So we might be able to double check those two, the two words even now. Uh, Persepolis? Persepolis, a city of ancient Persia. Yeah. Okay, I would have expected it more in Greece or such with Persephone. Okay, this, it, this third one is just a random one for jokes, I'm guessing. Perse Persepolis. Hmm. It's in the name. Caribou. Antila 2. Okay, so it's it, just going to say Entitled 2 for each of those. It could hmm. be the Greek's name for a city in it's Persia. The temple isn't open yeah. The okay. Now, according Listen, to the guide, yeah. we have to just say that we don't actually know the, the name. Really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Okay. I don't know the title. Plato! You're no student of Atlantis, then. Hmm. Okay, and he, Okay, I get... Now I get why he walks off every time, so he won't overhear us uh, asking the parrot every time. Title? A friend of Socrates! Okay... He rhymed. Stop. Sorry, old boy. Only accredited researchers are allowed in. Hmm. It seems that everything that's... or most things Listen. that it says rhyme. Yes. About exploring the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. The Hermocrates. That's it. That's it! <laughs> Well now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. Okay. I don't trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. Come on. I agree with them both. See what you can do. Hmm. Let's see. Let's have a look Looks here. Like could use a nose. Spiral designs. Engraved symbols of water and life. Engraved symbols of water and life. Hmm. There isn't much else to interact with here. I mean, it's so right me, back. Sophia. Okay. I'm the first thing. What's up? Hmm. What do we do now? Let's keep looking. <clears throat> it doesn't look like there's much else to go here. Hmm. Let's see, there must be something to do. It's a greasy old towel. We'll probably have to keep him distracted that for something. Work. Sophia, let's talk. Hmm. Actually, let's talk with uh, Sternhearts. Let's hmm. keep looking. Fine. 
Let's see. Professor. Yes. Hmm. So you've never found anything here? No, I'm stumped. Listen. Yes. What was the purpose of this chamber? You have me there. Some sort of crypt. Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing we need to this. Okay, let's have Sophia distract him. Uh... Can I talk to you, Sophia? What's up? Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. Okay, lure him away. Let's see. Could we you? Me, won't you? Ooh. Let's see what your friend is up to. Okay, that didn't last long. I don't think that'll work. Hmm. That'll just make a mess. Let's see. I'm back. Okay, I see what we need to do. We're the next step here. Welcome back. Can I talk to you, Sophia. What's up? Okay. So what we need to do is keep him Could busy. You try and keep Sternhart busy again. <sighs> again? He's such a windbag. <laughs> I've got another question for you, Doctor. Okay. And then we need to head out, apparently, because the moment we try to do anything here, he comes back because he loses... Well, he loses sight of us inside here. Okay. I'm guessing we want this kerosene lamp. It's a lamp filled with kerosene. Uh, let's pick up. Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. Is there anything else here? Uh... Okay. Now, can we? Me, won't you? Yep. Let's see what your friend is up to. Okay. Can we use the lamp with this? That doesn't seem to work. Okay. The designs. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Okay. Guide again. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Go. Let's see. Open. Better not spill the kerosene. Hmm. So, you took my lamp, eh? I hope you know what you're doing. Okay, at least he noticed that. Um... Can we use it with this? Well, that doesn't seem to work. Or maybe use the rag with the kerosene? Well, that doesn't seem to work. No. This. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Okay, now... Got it again. It's... Oh, really? Needs to be on the right one specifically. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Or not? What? Uh, pick up the kerosene lamp from the stand, head inside, open, and use it on the spiral design on the right. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Yep. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Hold on. Captain? Look on the screen. Hmm. There's what? one that stands out. Let's see. This one is lighter. Uh, there's one that's dark. Hmm. That is not on the right side, but on the left side. Look, yep. the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Remarkable. Okay, look this at... This looks different, more deeply etched. Okay. I'm helping! This one looks different, more deeply etched. It's a greasy old towel. Hmm. I don't think that'll work. Okay, then the, the guide has it wrong here because it says on the right. Okay, wait. What? <laughs> now I got it. Marvelous! Okay, and I'm guessing we use that with this, then? It fits perfectly. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. Okay. Um... Paul? Hell oh, yeah, I know what... that. Astonishing! 
bless my soul, the tomb of an Atlantean king. Here's a small stone disc with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone. At last I have the thing. Goodbye, fellow seeker. Wait! Dim oh no, he got away! Okay, hidden door there. <laughs> world stone. Okay. And we left something behind. Who knows? Maybe it is the tomb of an Atlantean king. Yeah, you'd expect something a bit more grand than just a hole in the wall, but who knows? Maybe it's... it is the tomb of an Atlantean king. Come on. Looks like a bead of oracalcum. Yep. Pick it up then. <laughs> Too bad for Sternhart. He missed the oracalcum bead. Okay. What uh, the hell is this? Go ahead. I will come down this here. The old statues in uh, uh, South America, the people, the, they say it looks like elephant the food Atlantis has been there. That's what they claim. But people are skeptical about it, they might just be in mythical creature. Excuse me, Sophia. What's up? Yes. What do we do now? Let's move on. Hey, we, we can't, like, take the, uh, the oh, I, crown I or something. Uh, the reason people think that elephants in Mayan temples are Atlantis is because apparently Atlantis had a lot of elephants. Or supposed to be, or something. Yeah, at least hmm. before it sank. Mm -hmm. Okay, just double checking on the guide here. Okay, the, yeah, the bead is what we want. And now it says to go back to Iceland. Okay. Hmm. I get the feeling we'll, we, we'll see that guy again. <laughs> Come out the other way. Okay, Iceland. I'm guessing if we make progress in the actual story that's... Well, Heimdall makes progress as well. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, uh, what the? Um. Um. Oh. No. Okay. He's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. Okay. He <laughs> he worked himself to death, apparently. Okay. Now that he's not working, did not realize he got <laughs> very very cold. Yeah. I'm guessing we use the bead here. It it's perfectly. Whoa! Oh. Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. Okay. Oh, we'll just take that and. Okay, that, that just looks silly in here. It's a bronze coil. Hmm. Well, uh, Heimdall didn't see that one coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing we can do for Heimdall, it seems. Let's okay. The airport. Did you... Did you just make a mythical yoke? Yep. Seeing as Heimdall is supposed to be the one able to see basically anything. Stop with the zombie impression. <laughs> I'm just trying to see, all right, how can I do this? Let's see. Mr. Costa? This better be important. Be firm, but polite. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless yeah. artifact, I don't want it. It's... Do we have a bathroom in there? Let's no. talk about a tray. Okay. What you got? Rare archaeology magazine. <laughs> when hidden, there's no way he's giving up his will, uh, his whip. I'm offering this <laughs> mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. 
Now listen carefully. I don't know exactly where to find it, but the lost dialogue of Plato is in the Ward Collection. Got that? I think so. The Ward Collection. Very good. Nice doing business with you. <laughs> okay, then wh what and where the is the Ward collection. collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Ward Collection. <laughs> Oop. A research laboratory somewhere in Germany. Very Frankenstein. Fantastic news. Corner! At last! See what Herr Jones has kindly provided. What on earth? Isn't it amazing? Amazingly useless. You fool! You come back to show me this, this, this! Prehistoric knickknack? Herr Doctor, I believe this knickknack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal plate called Ore Calcum! Look here, concealed in the base is a small shiny bead. Oh, okay. It glitters like fire! Exactly as Plato described! It's my guess we found the treasure we seek. I never guess! We must test! We've done it! Technology of uranium without any radioactivity! And those smug American scientists know nothing! That gives me an idea. Would I place the bee inside the statue's open mouth? Oh. Uh, great, it's an Atlantean RC car. You saw that? Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Use your imagination, Carla. Think big like the American. Think of bombs. Okay, I was about to say at least uh, at least he's being scientific and not immediately thinking of using it to make a bomb, and then he just <laughs> goes and proves me right wrong. Uh, right? What? Yes. Make up your mind, Captain. Why are you dragging me in here? <laughs> it's <laughs> we stole our junk here. Those lost dialogue should be here somewhere. Need some help? <laughs> yes, please, it's scary in here. Save the sarcasm, Jones. I'll meet you in your office. <laughs> okay, and oh, the stairs has been fixed. Okay, and we're back here. I just also I will say this to people. This is... Oh wait, I haven't told this about the... the, the, the... Recently I saw Aquaman 2. It's the L time. Lost City. And even that... But that was probably the first time I saw... Or, or at least I thought... The first time I saw... Old Calvin used as a fuel. So it, it was mm. more of a fuel there. Here is a... Metal used as an energy source. Yeah. Typically, when I hear about for calcium, it's used as a material to make stuff. Yeah, th yeah, that's the, usually I what it is. Part of the old Ashkenazi collection. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it being used as a fuel source is something new. For me, at least, could be on yeah. other people uh, <laughs> have heard it before on stuff. But apparently, in Aquaman. Yeah, and here's it. I thought Aquaman's trident and armor was made of orichalcum. But hmm. I guess not. There's nothing of importance yeah. here. From what I know of orichalcum, from what I have read of Atlantis, from what it was based on Plato's things, it was not used as a fuel source, more of a... a, a it was a very... renowned metal, like they had... 
apparently so much of the calcum that they used it for as roof tiles. Okay. Of importance here. So. I think I've read them all. <clears throat> and it, it, I think there, uh, there has been a case of a, a Roman general or Greek general actually had a breastplate that was claimed to have been over calcum. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. Okay. Uh, let's they, go. Actually, an example of braided hemp. Have they even found <laughs> old calcum, or at least they think they found old calcum in a sunken ship uh, near uh, Central America, around uh, Mexico? Or so, but there's the snakes again. Hmm. Let's see. Shirts, totems, shelves. Yeah. Looks like well, textiles it? from the Shamit collection. Hmm. So far, they don't know if it's old calc or not, but they suspected this. But I realized it is a alloy, a lot of alloy ingots of al. Uh, it, it's an alloy they call it suspected old calc, but it's made of a lot of metals, iron, hmm. copper, zinc, unidentified pot shirts. Okay, Looks and like several more I forgot. <laughs> Let's see, is, can we go around here, maybe? No? Hmm... And actually, people, those ingots are well, also people use it as proof of Atlantis. Let's see, push it from the other side? No? Yep. Okay, why can we push it now? Let's see. I believe it's part of the old ward collection. Okay. I can't pick that up. Ooh. Uh... Open it? It's locked. Oh, great. Now we need to go find a key. Oh, or... It's from the Shamit collection. Very sharp. Or can we pick the lock with this? Let's see. That didn't do anything. Okay. It hmm. might be used for something else. And the snakes doesn't say anything. Nope. Okay, now we now we can use a big. Uh, now we can have a bit of grip on it. That didn't do anything. Or not? Okay. Why? Do... It's an arrowhead with a soiled rag wrapped around it. Okay. That'll just make a mess. What if we open this thing again? Well, that doesn't seem to work. No. May as well close it. Uh, let's have a look here then. Azores. Uh, okay. Okay, apparently we need to head to the office and find some stuff. And Jones it's slowly finished. climbs down. <laughs> Hello there, Grandmaster. Think again. Let's see. Uh, so Twitch gave uh, uh, Twitch gave you four days off, so you do this three day stream. <laughs> no, I, I didn't do. We have been streaming for on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, yeah, it was we took yeah took yesterday. I couldn't stream because I just wasn't feeling well. Uh, and possibility that we'll stream uh, tomorrow. Well, don't just stand there. Go find Plato's lost dialogue. Is there anything uh, in the air? Hmm. But yeah, we, we were planning to even do a catch-up stream on Friday, but things got in the way. Yeah. Uh, icebox. Phew. Guess I should have cleaned it out. Okay. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> How long has that been in there, Jones? Used motor oil. Oh yeah, that kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. But gross. <laughs> Okay. And uh, yeah, we... wait. 
Monday, Tuesday. And maybe Wednesday, if we are lucky, with Streams of Alheim. So yeah. So, here's the thing. Mondays and Wednesdays are maybes. Yeah, so like 50% chance of a stream. Yep. More recently, it's been more like 25% chance. Okay. An old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. <laughs> okay. Uh. It sure is gooey. Uh. <laughs> yeah. The fine example uh. of braided hemp. Let's see, apparently there's an urn here somewhere. I mean, the one on the shelf? Let's see. I think you just missed the urn. The, 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 the urn is... Yes, I, I saw it over here. But let's see if that was the correct one. Let's I, I, I see the one. Oh yeah, there's the... I, I saw the other one in the bookshelf. Yeah, I already moused over that one. Uh, oh, let's okay. see. Okay, so... Okay, I see what we need to do now with this one. We need to get the screw out of this. It's unscrewed. Okay. Pick up. Uh, do we need to remove all of these for some reason? Let's see. It's, uh, it's unscrewed. Grandmaster, your friend that's talking needs to make an anime movie cap. Uh, what? It's what? unscrewed. Okay. It's unscrewed. Okay. And apparently, according to the guides, it's unscrewed. The uh, <clears throat> apparently the dialogue can be in different places with this. There's nothing of importance here. Okay, so okay, I'm presuming that's what was this thing from again? I believe it's part of the old Ashkenazi collection. Okay, so if that was the collection, uh, we probably would have found a dialogue in here, but no. So we might as well close it. it. To close. You're not? Okay. Uh, then we'll just have to keep on looking. Uh and finds whatever we need to open up that chest. Uh, yeah. and also, oh, dear gods. What, what are you talking about with an anime movie, uh, Grandmaster? And also, Drakir! Lieutenant Drakir! Uh, let's see. Totem pole, crate. Hmm. Hey. Are we gonna sue me to you put a name tag on me or something? Maybe. There's wait, supposed wait, to be what? an urn here somewhere. Wait, wait, yeah. Why should I be in an anime movie? I don't think that'll work. Let's see. Can we pick up the rope and move it over? I can't pick that up. Okay. I'm concerned. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, I'm, wherever it is urn is supposed to be, I can't actually see where it is. I believe it's part of the old ward collection. Let's see. Pull the crates. We won't go any further. Is there anything here? Behind it? No. Hmm. It won't come any further. Okay, then I'm not seeing where the hell this urn is supposed to be. Okay, I'm, I'm getting more and more confused <laughs> by chats. I got. Are you making some sort of reference or something? Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing where the hell this thing is supposed to be. Hmm. Let's see. Jar of mayonnaise, dirty rag, lump of coal, uh, school desk, 
statue, knocked Indy, there's an arrowhead inside the urn is an ad, and it's in the room where the statue collapsed and knocked Indy on. Okay, so it's not, it, do we need to find some way to get to the other room up there? How do we get there then? Hmm. Hmm. Don't sound big. I don't see any way to get... Wait, do we need to... Do we need to climb up the chutes? It's too slippery to walk up. Uh... Be useful in the right spot. I don't think that'll work. Hmm. I don't think that'll work. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. <laughs> really? What do you know? The gum works! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. Was that for a cat? <laughs> I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. Another cat idol. It looks odd. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop mm -hmm. collection. Okay, why is that one specifically odd? Uh, let's see, any urns here? Drawers? Books, drawers. Hmm. Let's see. Ta -ta. Grandmaster, are you understand me on this? I I have no idea what you're going at with that, ma Grandmaster. And uh, let's see. <laughs> Hello, Sensei. Let's see. Fix the mod pack. Okay, that's good to hear. Eleven still up for testing if it works for everyone on the server. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Okay, apparently that's the joke. Uh, so your friend will make a Persona 4, the animation, the movie. I still what need to movie? watch it at some point. Wait, there is a movie? Uh, there is an there is an animation uh, there is an animation that uh, basically covers the entirety of Persona 3 and 4 each. Okay, we will not stream it though here. I don't know if it's part of yeah. the reasons. Hmm. It seems to be locked. I don't see anything special about it. That's... I don't see anything special about it. it. Seems to be locked. They're drawers. Okay. Oh. Okay, we They're can. Drawers. We can open them, but there doesn't seem to be anything in them. Uh, let's see. It seems to be locked. The lower one. Okay, that was just a single one. Seems to be locked. Hmm. Seems to be locked. Okay, where the heck is this urn supposed to be? Hmm. Unless it's on the next floor. The collection. Yeah, but that, wait, that's, wait, the, that's the bookcase. The only one other than it could be the absolute upper one, but we don't have a way to get in there, I think. Yeah, but that's what I mean. The uh, highest one for that. That one had a statue that dropped you down here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Inside the urn in the attic, you may find a key only if the dialogue is hidden inside the old dusty chest. The chest is part of the ward collection. So it should be there, but where the hell is this urn then? And how how do we actually more how do we get to it? So why is there a coal chute up here? Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, gonna How do we get over to the right to the attic then? Because it's not there, it's not here. Hmm. Let's see. Gaster, ta -ta -ta. Uh, tadpole, I'll call you Sensei or Sensei. Uh, sen sensei or Sensei. Uh, but I'll call you Sensei instead. <laughs> sensei as in teacher. Uh, how do we get back up there? Wait. I don't think that'll work. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, 
enemies. Get grown up. Attic. Right and then go up inside one of the attics of Coswell Hall. Okay, so the yeah, the, the upper room is the attic, but how the hell are we supposed to get there? Hmm. Wait, how did he get there in the beginning? Does I miss through that? the window. And I have no idea how to possibly do that. Uh, let's see. It's, it's, uh... Okay, attic, attic. Oh. Okay. Come on. Use rope. Okay, we need to climb something else here. Okay. The floor isn't slippery enough. It won't move. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. And back uh, here we are. Yeah. Some kind of funeral urn. I believe it's part of the old ward collection. Okay. Now, open that thing up. Looks like someone's ashes in here. Mm -hmm. Feels like there's something loose in here. A key? There we go. Okay, now we can get out. Okay, and open that thing up. Okay, apparently the apparently this thing can be in it's four different spots. Inside. The lost dialogue of Plato. <laughs> okay, now let's look at this stupid thing. There, Mocrates. Now at last I have Plato's last dialogue translated entirely. The Greek original is lost, so I've used the Arabic, uh, Arabic text I found in the Italian monastery years ago and always thought it was a hoax. Now I wonder, could this remarkable book hold the secret to long-lost Atlantis? Probably not. No one will publish it, that's certain. The fear of ridicule is too great. To be safe, I've sent a copy to Ward, Charles Sternhardt, 1941. That's... Okay, there is another page, it seems, but let's just go down and talk with Sophia. <laughs> no, we're not going to whip the totem pole. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and apparently, according to the guides, now is where we can choose what path to take. So... Let's head to Sophia. Okay. <laughs> I got it. I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. Okay. Yep. I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. Let's see. Is Navius, didn't you notice Plato's tenfold numbering area error? Mansons colony. Okay. I'm pretty I I guess I need to click closer to the spine of the book to flip through the pages or such. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sophie, Sophie, if you say, hey, I recognize. Oh, yeah, I feel like we need to actually read the damn thing. Okay. Uh, colonies and outposts. We'll find them. Colonies and outposts. We'll find them. But he doesn't name them. Let's see. Other sources. Other sources yeah. may identify them for us. I wonder. Where's my spirit guide when I need him? Come on, Sophia. The answer's in the book, not outer space. So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Let's see. Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. We may not find Atlantis in the Atlantic after all. Maybe the calling names will turn up. Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? 
Let's see. If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Okay. Good old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. <laughs> Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. Let's see. So, Mrs. Sal, what's the secret? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, dang, Cap's friend, you saw you found Atlantis before. How did you? How did you find it before? Uh, okay. Uh, that calcum sure is spooky stuff. Spooky? Haven't you learned anything? Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Omar al Jabbar in Algiers. Why should he help us? Or was it Alain Frontier in Monte Carlo? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. You'll need all three stones if you want to find Atlantis. Okay. And Sternhardt ran off with one of them. Let's see. Okay, it says here that this is where we get to pick the path, the team wits or fist path. And it says heads for section three zero four zero or five zero for each of those specific. I'm not sure what it means with this with heads for section right, such and such. Go. Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell your fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. Always eager to solve life's deepest puzzles. I could never follow the thoughts of your maze-like mind. So I can't follow you along the twisting path that leads to Atlantis. I'd rather tackle this together with you. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. We should team up. Okay. Oh. If that's how you feel. We'll go together. Okay, now it, they main sections of the FAQ, not uh, anything with this. <laughs> okay. Let's get going. We can still catch tonight's clipper. You make it sound so romantic. Okay, so that's how we choose what path to go. All With the right. game pushing you to try for the wits path first, apparently. Yeah, okay. Uh, and also to uh, answer uh, uh, Play Four, there, I, I, I've seen the playthrough of this game long ago. But I <laughs> struggle to remember much of it. <laughs> I'm also using the thing uh, still my remember is Plato's number error. Okay. Let's actually take another look at this thing and figure out how to flip its damn pages. The moment I click, it goes away. Do we need to Okay, we okay. We use the bookmarks to look around. Okay. Uh let's see. In shame, I hereby do recant the time and place whereof uh, Critias spoke. In rendering Egyptian into Greek, he made a tenfold error. Instead of lying 3,000 miles hence, Atlantis may uh, well have been 30,000 miles away. Or perhaps it was less than 300 miles from our own shores. Likewise, it may be that the Lost Kingdom held sway as many as uh, 100,000 years ago, or as few as a thousand. So, Critias, if a kingdom arose on Earth beyond anywhere men might travel, then we would never hear of it. Uh, we ought to accept the lesser figure. So Glorious Atlantis founded two colonies, the lesser 150 miles northeast of the city and the greater 660 miles away southwest. 
gates of the kingdom opened only with the aid of special stones. At many outposts, the sunstone sufficed if darkness concealed the tall horns. At the greater colony, a moonstone was also needed. Will pale dawn to shred the darkest night? To approach Atlantis itself, a world stone was required as well, with the rising sun breaking night's grip above the fiery peak. Fiery peak sounds like a volcano. Final entrance yielded only to contrary minds. And it is said that dwellers in Atlantis had, had no horses nor any need of them. Or recalcum, the metal that glit and glit that glittered like fire, this they had instead. They cast it into shiny beads and used them as we do minted coins, paying statues to do their work as if by magic. When their colonies were failing, wise men carved strange devices out of amber to search for the metal, but only proud Atlantis ever yielded a supply. You have called the kingdom wealthy, but surely this is absurd. As the waters rose around their city, the kings of Atlantis, one after another, sought to, to hold off fate. The wing mortal men would never rule the sea, they planned a huge colossus, which by use of Orichalcum ten beads at a time would make them live, uh, would make them like the gods themselves. Nur Absal was one such king. He it was, say the wise men of Egypt, who first put men in the colossus, making many freaks of nature at times uh, when the celestial spheres were well aligned. This I doubt, we are hearing a child's tale. Okay, so these are Socrates' comments on the, the, the stuff. Hmm. Okay. So I like how the... when I like how these are over here now, after we page past them. Yeah, that's the most detailed. Let's see. It says, aerial views, one flight up. Okay. Uh, how long do we have remaining? Let's see, about half an hour or so. Actually, oh. we... Uh, yeah, we... <clears throat> we started a half hour earlier than our typical evening stream, so two and a half hours. About. Yeah, you, All right, <laughs> I, thought we, I thought we were to go only two hours. Uh, we can go keep going if you want. Yeah, well, I'm up for another 30 minutes. Well, okay. 35, uh, technically. Hello there. Ah, a prosperous American. Hmm. Let's see, do you know where to find Omar al Jabbar? You know where to find Omar al Jabbar? Omar is one of my best customers. His shop is on the other side of the marketplace. What are you doing here on the streets? I'm a beggar, Effendi. It is my job to be here. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. Okay. How's business? I've seen worse. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. <laughs> okay. Technically, I don't think beggar counts as an actual profession, but... <laughs> Okay, I guess we have to give him Sorry food then. No bother, Effendi. Now let me get back to work, please. And Effendi, Effendi, I've heard that word before. I think it means like something like friend or something. It could be wrong. Yeah, yeah I've heard that word many times, but I never heard it translated. Let me just look it up quick then. Uh, the phone wants to cooperate. Come on. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, uh... Okay, why is it being slow? Its battery is at 50%. Come on. In the meantime... I don't want to disturb them. They look kind of busy. Okay. Is that Mario? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I guess Mario will not juggle with knives. Let's see, Offendi. Hello there. If you have ticket, you see signs. If not, you don't. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> to the point, no bullshit. Okay. Yep. This thing is being real slow for some reason. Let's see, back to the airports. I doubt we can get past here. Oh, we head back around the back. 
Uh, let's see. Effendi, a man of high education or social standing in an Eastern Mediterranean or Arab, Arab uh, country. Okay. So it's more a title. Okay. Let's see. Sophia. Anything to add, Sophia? What? Ah, Algeria. Hmm. Okay, not interested. Okay. Let's see. We're a happy bunch. He's an artist with those knives. Okay. We we'll probably have to talk with him at some points, maybe. Oh, I think I remember yes. this. Hmm. You know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? Omar, his pitiful excuse for a shop is down the alley here. Okay. What looks good today? Today we have a special squab on a stick, only 20 dinars. Yep. So long. Okay, I, I doubt. I doubt they'll take uh, dollars. Uh, well, in the alleyway we go then. Hmm. Okay, that's the aunt and uncle leaving. And you must be Omar then. Artifacts, souvenirs, a, a dragon mask. Funny, looks like that ghost we saw in your study. That ghost was Nurab Thal. Hmm. It all looks pretty worthless. It's crockery. Pots. Hmm. Little pots. Medium pots. pots. <laughs> Medium pots. <laughs> okay. Uh, f I just had a thought about it. I completely. Oh, right now, I remember. Uh, you know those. Uh, you know those Greek quote unquote urns where they often uh, held the uh, wine in and such? I think they're called amphora, something like that. I know what you mean, I just didn't was unaware that's what they were called. Yeah, I, I honestly wouldn't mind. Uh, I, I probably would like to just get a replica of one of those, not an original one, of course. Or not as in original oh, yeah. ancient one, but I definitely would want one of those just for the show of it. Yeah, I might I, actually, I, I might actually try drinking stuff from it. I do recall you mentioning. Wait, do, I recall you wanted to buy an urn like that in the past, but recently since we finished uh, Apotheon, but to drink from the. the yeah, you know as long as it's clean, of course. Big. Yeah, but we might just have to. I would just have to see from uh, how big they actually sell it them says, or small. Rosewater in Arabic. Okay. Ah. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Fendi? Are you Mr. Omar Al Jabbar? I am but a humble shopkeeper. My name is unimportant. Okay, so you may be not him. Hmm. Do you ever deal in antiquities from Atlantis? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Many a fool dreams of the lost kingdom. How may I know your intentions are serious? Hmm. I've got a PhD, will that do? <laughs> you have quite a sense of humor, I see. Hmm. I guess we have to show him Sophia's uh, amulet Excuse then? Me. What is it? I think this guy is Al Jabbar. There's only one way to find out. Hmm. He wants to be sure we're serious. Maybe we better get one and show it to him. <laughs> yeah, okay, that was a b <laughs> it's... Of all the shops in Algeria, we had to walk into this one. We'll always have Iceland in the <laughs> Hot enough for you? It'll get a lot hotter if the Nazis beat us to Atlantis. Uh, let me mm. think. Okay. Let's see. Excuse me again. Yes. Does he have to do that thing with his hands? It's just the shifty shop keeps the <laughs> move hand movements. How much for the mask? You can take the worthless thing. It's scaring away my best customers. <laughs> okay. This thing is spooky. 
Drink. Okay. Uh, you want it, Sophia? No, we can't give stuff to Sophia. Uh, we still have the gum. Okay. I don't hmm. think he wants that. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Algiers. Okay, apparently we need to do something with the knife thrower. Yeah. Oh, no. You... I forgot who you're going to use for that. But one of them is not going to be happy. Just to be absolutely safe. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Nice knives. Yes, they were a gift from my father, the greatest knife thrower in North Africa. I'm trying to follow his example. But alas, no one will volunteer to be my assistant since the accident. Accident. Sorry to bother you. No bother. I just wish the volunteer would step forward to assist me. <laughs> yeah, the whole knife throwing act isn't well as a. Uh... <laughs> As thrilling without someone potentially getting knifed in the face. Is it, is it <laughs> even legal still? Doubt it. it in some cons, I guess, but. What? <laughs> you need a professional, but probably is. While it's impressive, it's definitely one of those skills that's. Um... Very dangerous still. Because even yeah. the best knife thrower will have an off day. I think you should volunteer to help the knife thrower. No, you don't, Jones. <laughs> Do it and I'll let you wear my hat. <laughs> International relationships. Please, it's perfectly safe. Right, perfectly safe. Take a good look at his dexterity. Well, okay. He hasn't cut himself so far. Gee, knives make me nervous. Mm -hmm. uh, really? Uh, okay. <laughs> what? Apparently, we have to quote unquote insist. Come on, assist the guy, will you? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Pretty please. Oh, sure. I wouldn't trust that man to cut carrots. You're not really looking. Observe that superb technique. Oh, all right. Okay, I she's going to... Too close. She's going to kick her ass for this. Oof. Look here, ladies and gentlemen. A volunteer. But... Now, now, my dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. But... Just walk over to the board now. <laughs> Thank you for your brave assistance, my dear. Allow me to express my gratitude by giving you this souvenir knife. Okay, so we have a souvenir knife. Uh, Here, Jones, run. Before I use it on you. <laughs> okay. This time, he will accidentally call it. Go out there. We'll just get lost. Okay. The is, he, she did threaten him with it. <laughs> I, I, I meant, she threatened Indy, not you. She did not threaten Hill. I said uh, Hill, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think okay. my brain f tried to tell me I said Dill. Okay, I was half expecting him to just get kicked between the legs for that one. And he, he would have totally deserved it. <laughs> Oh, he does deserve that uh, a kick, <laughs> definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's talk to him a bit Excuse more. Yes. I'm really interested in Atlantis, and I really need some reason to take you seriously. Hmm. I'm not sure I know what you mean. 
For example, it is said that three stone discs were needed to open the gates of Atlantis. Show me one of those if you can. I saw a stone disc once, but someone stole it. That's too bad. I don't discuss the lost kingdom with amateurs. Okay. And we know who stole it. Yeah. And apparently that's all we can do here at the moment, so let's head to the other place. I have a feeling we're gonna see Steinhardt again, since he had the world stone. Yep, and we need a sunstone and a night stone. Uh, no, moon. Or was, yeah, moon. Sun moon and moon stone. and worlds. So Sun, the three world. celestial bodies. Okay, now the, okay, I like that it actually zooms in because we have nothing to do in New York now. Well, here we are. Okay. Let's hope we don't run into a count here. Count, no, no that's Mo Count of Mar uh, Monte Cristo, not Carlo. <laughs> I, I no was to say, Monte Carlo was the lost city. Don't start with me, Indy. It's Cartier we're after. <laughs> I was to say, I could for most very short moment worried that you thought Count Dracula was from here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that would that would have been even more hilarious. But what does Cartier look like? How should I know? I've never actually met him. We did all our business by mail. Really, Sophia? What makes you think we'll find Trottier here? All his letters mention how much he likes strolling under the bright lights. Suppose Trottier shows up. What then? Bring him up to my room. This plan sounds kind of harebrained to me. Don't worry, it'll work. He used to have one of the three stones. If we can coax him into a seance, he might let us have it. Okay. If Mr. Sal helps out, of course. I'll go get ready. <laughs> Are there seance? Really? Okay. This thing is spooky. Well, I guess we'll have to, uh, keep <laughs> talk to a bunch of folks here. Is that him? Excuse me. Uh, Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Uh, possibly, who wants to know? Let's see. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, Jones, Jones. I believe I've heard of you. Did I get the right one on immediately? Well, I, he, he looked very different from the others, so that's why I put him out. <laughs> it's well, just me. random chance. And I am Trottier. Amateur scholar, <laughs> part-time poet, professional dreamer. Adding up today's date and my birthday foretold extraordinary events on the boulevard tonight. And here I bump into you. Ah, what good fortune. <laughs> I've heard you deal in Atlantean artifacts. Aha, my reputation precedes me. I fear that German agents are on my trail. To prove you are not one of them, answer me this. When were the many freaks of nature created? Oh, it's... Mm. Uh, let's see. Celestial Sphere were al aligned? Well aligned. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. How can I help you? I remember that. I I hope it's my turn to get that wrong. <laughs> Madam Sophia would like to trade her wisdom for yours. I'm sure she would. And steal my secrets. What kind of idiot you take me for? The, the really? Over here, Monsieur Trottier. Yes? <laughs> Sorry about being so rude. I do not believe your sincerity. Okay. Uh, do we need to scare this guy up or something? Mm -hmm. As friendly as possible, or else we'll leave. Mm -hmm. 
Try and remember the conversation you have with him. It may come in handy later on. Okay. Yeah. Question. Ask him upstairs. Okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Apparently there is a a failsafe for managing to offend him like that. Is that you, Jones? Uh, a tribe and that fool won't come up here. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that possibility. Just drop Nurab Sal's name. Okay. The door is closed. We can see that, smart ass. There is here, Monsieur Trottier. Okay. It is. I just want you to know I work for Nurab Sal. Did you say Nurab Sal? Well, perhaps you're not the buffoon I took you for. Now, excuse me while I consider this. Uh, okay. <laughs> Guess we have to wait for him to show up again. Monsieur Trottier? Well, hello again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? Let's see. Follow me and Madame Sophia will read your fortune. Oh, this is a big step. I'm not sure. <laughs> She's better than any psychiatrist. Come on, take a chance. She's right here in the hotel. I don't need this woman's counsel. I don't need anything, but I'm curious. So I'll do it. Please lead the way. Okay, there we go. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? Mm. Okay, Trottier's all yours. Oh, Monsieur Trottier, I am so pleased to meet such an expert antiquarian at long last. Madame flatters me. It is I who am pleased to meet you. Now then. Nurab Sal demands proof of your sincere belief. Well, I have this stone key from the lost city. It should prove my word to Monsieur Sal. Very good. Very good indeed. Now let's begin our communion with that great spirit. Uh, one moment, madame. We've never met before. You could be an imposter. If you really have psychic powers, tell me. Why was I taking a stroll when I first met Dr. Jones? Eh? How should I know? Read my mind, or read Dr. Jones' mind, if you prefer. I told him everything. Wait. Hmm, let me think. But, but she told us earlier why that he likes being talking under the light. Yeah, but specifically why tonight? Your numerology told you to. Ah, most interesting. What is my greatest fear? Eh? Uh, okay, he didn't talk about that, but you fear at the moment. The agents. Ah, most interesting. What is my greatest need? Uh, you need nothing. Aha, uh -huh, that is intriguing. Now then, how many fingers am I holding up behind my back? What yep. kind of stupid question? That? The answer depends on pure chance. Not if you're truly psychic. Don't worry, I won't cheat. How many fingers? <laughs> well, all I can do is try a wild guess. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's see. He won't let on if you answer the first three questions correctly or not. For his final question, ask how many fingers. Now is the time to say if it is completely random, but it is possible to guess. Okay. Save. At least the game does put up auto saves here and there. Three. Amazing! You must yep. have truly read my mind. <laughs> now, what words of wisdom can you offer to guide me? Let's see. 
<laughs> you will lead a happy life and die in bed. Wise men know that dreaming's better than doing. Of course, at last I understand. Please take my stone key as a reward for your profound advice. Au revoir. Okay, I get the feeling if we failed any of that, that we would need to shut up the nice power. Work, now I'm taking control the... of this team. <laughs> I get the Looks feeling like we, we have <laughs> one of the three stones. Let's hope we can find a way to use it. I'll bet Trottier got it from Al Jabbar. Those two do a lot of business together. Let's head for North Africa and find out if I'm right. Are we going to I'll jump over, right? Okay, yeah, I, I think we would have needed to mess with the fuse box here, put on the mask, and scare the fuck out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, ta -da -da. yeah, it says you can also let Indy do his thing during the seance. First, Sophia will ask for some token of power to channel her thoughts. Yeah, ta -da -da. Once you get control of Indy, open the cabinet and take the flashlight inside. Then open the fuse box, push the circuit breakers to shut up the lights, head over to the beds, pick up the bed sheet, use the bed sheet, use the mask that you found, and then use the flashlight. <laughs> will appear as some kind of ghost to scare Trottier off. That stone disc will be on the table. <laughs> okay, that, that honestly sounds like it would have been a lot more fun. <laughs> Is there some way that we are supposed to be able to switch between these two or something? Let's head for North Africa. Fine, I'll heal the cab when you get changed. Okay. If now, if there is a if there is a way to switch between them actively, I'm not seeing it. So let's open up the door before Smartass comments on it again. Okay. Nothing interesting over here. Okay. Wait for me. There we go. Okay, over to no, not here. <laughs> okay, I only clicked because it was glowing at just a brain fart moment. Okay, Algiers. <laughs> now that we have the stone, we can prove that we are well actually interested in all of this uh, stuff. <laughs> Would be pretty ironic if we end up with two identical stones. Well, that's probably mean one's fake. Yeah. But yeah, it's it talks about a sunstone, a moonstone, and a world stone. But if we ended up, it's make it sounded like makes it sound like there could be multiple of each. And yeah, if you have if you end up with a double, the entire quest would end you know up running shots. Which would be anticlimactic, but in a different way, it would also be kind of funny. Excuse me again. Yes? I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. Hmm. I've got this stone. Stone, you say? Let's see it. Mm. Here it is. Take a look. Shakes ah, it like from Morocco. Sunstone, if I'm not mistaken, and the most stupendous find, Doctor Jones. How do you know who I am? Yeah, how? My dear Miss Hapgood, when you're Omar Al Jabbar, you know these things. Then you are Al Jabbar. Yes, a lowly dealer in oddities and trinkets at your service. And the uh, information yeah, dealer, you probably. Know about Atlantis. Yes, tell us. Well, somewhere deep in the Atlas Mountains, there's an archaeological dig site. I'm convinced it contains the remains of an Atlantean outpost. Mm. What makes you so sure it's Atlantean? From time to time, scoundrels appear in my shop to trade pieces they stole there. The designs are unmistakable. Okay. Whose dig is it? Europeans. Germans, I believe. Damn it. Where is it exactly? I'm not exactly sure. I've learned enough to make a rough map, but it's very rough. The problem is, the desert is no place for a civilized man like myself. We'll go. We will? I admire your courage, but you'll never survive the desert. Give up while you still have your lives ahead of you. No. 
We'll never give up. Well then, let it be as God wills it. Come, I'll lend you my map. And a couple of sturdy camels. Okay. Hmm. And you want camels for the desert? Definitely, yeah. And more than plenty of water. A few minutes later. Ooh. He returns alone. Okay, what are you up to? A few out out of <laughs> Okay. I guess we didn't find it then. Returned alive. Tell me, how was your trip? <laughs> okay, except our camels died a mile out of town. <laughs> Marvelous, but we didn't find anything. I'd rather not talk about it. Understood. It's unworthy to dwell upon misfortune. Perhaps I can still be of service. Do you still have that mask I gave you? Uh. Yeah, I've got it right here. Why do you ask? I'd like to trade you for it. Okay. What do you give me? That depends. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about this baseball? It's been autographed by your country's Lou Gehrig. Ooh. Okay, this has to be some sort of... It's... Uh, Unfortunately, Indy and Sophia come back empty-handed. Except the first offer he makes. Okay. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange of Indy. Okay, looks like we might need to do a bit of a trading quest or something. I'm, I'm only look, glancing to the, the guides on bits that we need, so I'm not looking ahead or anything. But I'm guessing we need the uh, we need to get a ticket for the uh, balloon or something. Possibly. And also, you Excuse want to know me. a fun fact? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, about camels. Mm, go ahead. They. I don't know how to say this. They were not always desert animals. Okay. They originally came from Canada. Okay, that's that's, that's I I have to admit that sounds like a load of bull. It is not for the early the adaptation were originally made for the ice age for snowy ice steps. Okay. Hmm. And even then the hump was useful during well a lot of feet of ice. Yeah. But you need a food a fat uh, in the hump. That, that came out wrong. <laughs> but yeah. I, I should clip that the... just for the just for that line. I don't you dare. But anyway, they they did migrate uh, over to, to Russia, to Mongolia, and all the way to Africa. Okay. Mm. But yeah. Uh, ice adaptations quickly adapted to desert, which kind of makes sense for they had to fight for it and the uh, hump for it. And okay. deserts at night are bloody freezing. Yeah, that that is something that a lot of people don't get. Like during the day, uh, it it feels like it will set you on fire. During the night, yeah, you will freeze to death. Mm. Indeed. But we are coming up on two, uh, two, uh, two and a half hours, so let's finish this conversation. U.S. currency? Mm. Sorry, no. Okay. So long. Hmm. Salam. Now that they say that, so long and salam sound sort of similar. Uh, uh, yeah, let me look up what that. salam needs. Uh, let's see. A piece of a well. Probably, um, but we thought that so yeah, Effendi means something like sir or friend. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, it means peace. Okay. 
Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Kind of nice, actually. There and there. Okay. Good amount of progress, but probably still plenty more to go for next week. And yeah, I, I'm really liking Sophia, and I really wish that we had more interaction with her during uh, Infernal Machine. Just these two bickering back and forth <laughs> like a married couple. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we maybe meet up again in the next game. Maybe. There is, yeah, there is the Great Circle that's coming out. It again looks promising, but again, that's the whole thing with, uh, <clears throat> with trailers that are supposed to make things look better than they are. And if I remember correctly, it's to be a first-person Indiana Jones game. So that are parts of it at least, so that could get curious at some point, definitely. As long as it's not a bloody mobile game. No, it should not be. It's for a computer and such. Uh, but, okay. yeah, we'll find out when it comes out. If it's done well, then good. If it's done bad, then people will forget it within a month. <clears throat> okay. Unless it was really bad. Yeah. Okay, but for now, let's go look for someone to raid. So let me change over the screen share. Yes, and as I said earlier, you get to pick this time. Let's see. Oh, hello. Lashris is playing Jazz Jackrabbit. Okay. Birthday week hype. Oh, okay, but their birthday soon. Uh, let's see. Anyone else? There are some people playing old school RuneScape. Just chatting. I'm nice is online with Pikmin 4. Um, and Big Restreams is playing Borderlands. <laughs> right after we finished that last week. Or actually, this oh, week? Dear. Yeah, this week. <laughs> it's their first session, apparently. Um, let's see, Outer Worlds. We have been raiding Lashers for quite a, uh, for quite a few times recently. And it has been a while since we've raided Nice, I think. So, Nice then? Your pick. Okay, let me get, double check that everything is muted. So... Copy the name. There. Okay. Then we head to our place. Slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Grandmaster. And let's see, any lurkers with names? So there's a... Okay, there's a... <laughs> okay, there's a bunch of boss that came over from somewhere, it seems. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you anyone who's been lurking. I will uh, I will check your names against a list of known bots. If you are not a bot, sorry. If you are, you don't have the mental capacity to be offended anyways. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's mostly just to keep... It mostly just clean up stuff. Like, I, I have mod status with one of my friends on Twitch, uh, Beanie Undead, and he ha at one point he had like 20 freaking bots in chat. So, yeah, it's best to just clean them out whenever you find them before, well, it's just a, an endless list of the fuckers. Okay. Holy. Uh, yeah, no known names there except for Sensei, but he already spoke up earlier, so. <laughs> And uh, yeah, thank you as always as well, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. Yeah, I can de I can definitely see why people consider this a an amazing point-and-click adventure, especially with the replay value of being able to take three different parts, which I'm presuming would also play differently with the story somewhat. Okay. Most likely. It uh, does I feel like they actually <laughs> took what they learned from the first game are heavily improved on it. Yeah, they also had like a lot less to practically no restrictions with this one. But yeah. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow, maybe we continue with uh, Borderlands' <clears throat> DLCs, or rather the story DLCs. Or two of them. Like, we're saving uh, Dr. Ned's uh, Zombie Island for Halloween. So we will get started on the, well, if we get you know, stream, we will get started on the secret armory of General Knox. <laughs> oh dear. But besides that, we definitely will be continuing or 
restarting more likely with Jedi Academy on Tuesday, continuing on Thursday, and yeah, whatever other shenanigans we get in through the main week. And of course, ne <laughs> next weekend we'll have, or hopefully we'll start with Sign Freud's Tales of Werewolves and more of this game. Looking forward mm. to it already, all of it. Okay, but for now, uh, let's get the raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, sleep well, and watch out for undead sequels. Yeah, and don't get lost in the Sahara. You will either burn up or freeze to death, or both. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs>